Welcome back to SBR Forum videos. After a very successful week number two so far in our team and player prop picks, it's time for me to try to cap things off here on a Monday night football contest between the Jets and the Colts. Here with two more player prop picks for you this week. We went two and one here on Sunday, trying to add a couple of more to that win total this week. And we'll start it off here on Monday night football with Frank Gore, who has a rushing yards total of 54 and a half right now. And after a disappointing week one performance where Gore couldn't really get anything going and the Colts really didn't have the chance to run the ball after falling behind the Buffalo Bills, I still don't think they're going to have a very I still don't think they're going to have an easy time establishing Frank Gore and the running game here against an equally as tough Jets front seven. The New York Jets, despite being on the road here, I think are going to give Gore some trouble here. And we've already heard from the Colts that they're going to try to limit Frank Gore's touches as much as possible here early in the season. And if he only gets 12, 14, maybe even 15 touches, in this game, I don't think it's going to be enough to get him up to 55 yards in this one against the Jets defense that uh, if you take away a huge run that Lamar Miller had late in the season last week in week 17, and on top of that, add in their, their uh, week one contest uh, against the Cleveland Browns, the Jets are averaging giving up less than 100 yards on the ground per game in their last four games. I think Frank Gore is a underplay in this one, and the odds of even money on the under here at 54 and a half make me even more excited about this valuable play tonight, I think, for Monday Night Football. So add the under here for Frank Gore's rushing yards. And another one here for you, another running back in this one, but we're going to go with his combined total rushing and receiving yards in this one, and that is Bilal Powell, the number two running back for the New York Jets. Now, I think what adds more value to this one is the fact that Chris Ivory just a little bit banged up in this one, and while I think he'll probably play, they might want to limit his touches just a little bit as well here. Injury history is deep for Chris Ivory, and uh, despite the fact that he got over 20 touches last week and could still see that, Bilal Powell also saw 14 touches last week against the Cleveland Browns, and that was in a game that they really were ahead pretty far and uh, were holding out Ivory just a little bit, I think, speculatively here, but uh, Bilal Powell saw 14 touches, also saw about 70 yard, or 78 yards all-purpose here for the New York Jets last week. And right now, his over-under for rushing and receiving yards from Bet365 sitting at 47.5, which I think is a clear-cut overplay here in this one at minus 125. I think that uh, Powell has a lot of upside in this one, especially if they're playing from behind. I think he get it both ways here. With Ivory banged up, he could see more rushing attempts. If they're playing from behind, the Colts jump out to an early lead. They'll be throwing the ball, so he'll be in the game. A lot of value here on Bilal Powell over 47.5. Those are your two-player prop picks. Make sure you check out my team prop pick for Monday Night Football as well. And let's try to cap off a winning week here for week number two. But that'll do it for me this time. For SBR Forum Videos, I'm Jordan Sharp.